Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another fragrance video. Today we're gonna to be checking out 10 fragrances that are well suited for the extremely high heat. So this is gonna be a little bit different than my summer list videos. You're probably like, why is there another top 10 video on summer fragrances? Well, that's because these are all suited for extremely hot temperatures, and I'm talking about over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. When I do those summer lists, I'm picking out fragrances that just really smell like summertime, and I pick out fragrances that I'm gonna wear just in the general heat, not necessarily on really hot days like when I'm covering in this video. And in 100 plus degrees, really not a whole lot is gonna work. And we had a few days last week where it was like 110 degrees, so it was pretty hot. So it gave me a chance to kind of test out some different fragrances and try them in the really high heat. And I've kind of compiled this full list. That way, any of you who live in an area where maybe it's always that hot, or you have quite a few days where it does get that hot, here's some fragrances that I found that work well in the extremely high heat like that. Hopefully it can help you out. As always, most of these are going to be available on my website, chaosfragrances.com. If you're looking to pick any of these up, go check it out. But now let's go and jump right into the list, starting off at number 10, Original Penguin Premium Blend. This stuff is around the $20 to $30 range for a 100 ml bottle, and this works really nice for the high heat. I've worn this one a lot in the dead of summer before when it's very hot outside, and this one really kind of holds its own. It doesn't start to get too sweet or too messy or cloying or anything like that. Honestly, it does pretty well. So if you're looking for an affordable fragrance to wear when it's really hot out, definitely check this one out. And that's starting off at number 10, Original Penguin Premium Blend. Number nine, we have Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. So I'm putting this one at number nine just because this one is a little bit more on the generic side, right? And this is probably going to be something that a lot of people would pick. So because of that, I'm putting it down a little bit lower, but still that doesn't deny the fact that it is one that would work really well in the high heat or just in summer in general. This was my go-to summer fragrance a while back. I still like to wear it from time to time, but I don't quite as much as I used to. But when I would wear it in the very, very high heat, it always did great. It performs great. It smells great does get you a lot of compliments again this is one that's going to get hate because it's generic smelling that's just kind of how it is that's what this fragrance was designed for it was designed to be versatile and to get you positive attention that's really exactly what it does and it works great no matter what time of the year it is more suited for the warmer weather but even on those really hot days the stuff you know it always worked for me so that was number nine Dior Sauvage Number eight, we have a Creed, and this is actually gonna be the only niche fragrance in this list. And that one is Millicene Imperial. So this one, why is this one at number eight? Well, simply because for the price, you don't get that much performance out of it. And that's a complaint that you'll hear with a lot of Creed scents, and really, it's the truth. At retail, this one is expensive. It's around 400 or so dollars, 450, something like that, for a, like a new 100 ml bottle. That's a lot of money, especially for something that doesn't last long. Even with that discount, it is still very pricey for what you're paying for. But regardless, I still wanted to include this one in the list just because if you're looking for something that smells fantastic in the really high heat and even something that just works really well in the high heat, this one is amazing. This one always works really well in the summertime. It's this nice tropical watermelon, like salty, citrusy, musky fragrance. And it's one that you can pretty much put as much heat on it as you want and it's not gonna get too sweet. Again, really the only downside to this one is the performance. It doesn't perform that good. And then of course the price, uh, but still for just overall smell, alone had to include this one in the list at number eight as creed millicene imperial at number seven we have gucci porome 2. so this is a pretty popular tea based fragrance uh, is discontinued but you can still pick it up pretty easily this is a really nice pleasant soothing scent again the main note here being tea again that always works really well in the summertime and it's just one that's so pleasant it's so easy to wear that even if it is really hot, this stuff is still gonna work great and it's still gonna have you smelling nice and cooling and refreshed. I don't think you're gonna get a negative reaction from this fragrance um, just because of how pleasant it is. I mean, it's just such an easy going scent. It's one that's very soft in its projection and it doesn't announce itself too much. It just stays closer to your skin and it's one that's really, for me anyways, more of a personal fragrance. So if you're looking for a nice, affordable tea-based fragrance for the summertime, one that you can wear in the very, very high heat, Gotta check this one out, Gucci Porome 2. Number six, we have Bulgari Aquamarine. 
So this one is pretty interesting. Uh, I've been hearing it talked about for quite often and just recently within the past couple months I ended up picking up a bottle. This is a very nice authentic aquatic smelling fragrance. It really does smell like you're on the beach by the ocean. It's got this nice seaweed, salty, um, and a little bit of a cit citrusy accord as well. And it just is something that works really great for the summertime. And of course it wouldn't be in this list if it didn't work well in the high heat and it does that also. Uh, I've worn this when it's very hot outside and it's worked well every time. This is another one that kind of keeps me cooled and refreshed just because it does smell like the ocean. It smells like you're by the water. The only thing about this one is it's probably not gonna be for everybody. Not everyone's gonna like that aquatic smell. Some people say it smells like eggs on their skin, which I've never experienced myself, but a lot of people do get that for whatever reason. So maybe get a sample of this one first, try it at a department store first, and then kind of decide if you want to pick up a bottle. If you do, don't buy it at the department store. Obviously don't pay full retail for this. You can get it online for like half the price. Uh, that's just kind of something you always want to keep in mind. But I would say definitely try this one first before you buy it because not everyone's gonna like it. For me though, it works great and it's one that works great in the really high heat and it is one that if you like aquatic fragrances and you haven't tried this one, highly recommend you do. Number five, we're going back to a classic here. This one is Versace Man O' Fresh. So this scent, this one has been around for a while and there's no denying that. I do realize that this one is worn by a lot of people, but here where I live, that's not an issue at all just because no one wears fragrances, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, every time I have worn this one, it has gotten me good positive attention. On top of that, it just works great in the heat. There's this nice citrusy, fresh, kind of like tropical smelling scent. And this one just screams summertime to me. Whether it be a nice 80 degree, 70 degree summer day or a 110 degree summer day, this one's gonna work really for any type of situation and that's what I love about it. This is just so satisfying and refreshing to smell and it's one of my favorite fragrances to wear in summertime in general. And I am running pretty low on this bottle as you can see, uh, but this is just a great scent. So Versace Mano Fresh, Again, another fantastic one for the really, really high heat. Number four, we have Parfums Vintage Brilliant Bergamot. So this is their take on Bergamot 22 by Le Labo. And for those of you who don't know, that is a relatively expensive uh, bergamot based fragrance. I really like their interpretation here. It's a nice bergamot with some vetiver. It's another one that works really well in the high heat. And honestly, I think it'll work no matter how much heat you put on this thing. That bergamot really just sparkles and pops in the heat. And to me, it seems that the hotter it is, the better the fragrance smells. A lot of these citrus fragrances need some heat uh, to kind of get them going and to get them, you know, pushing out and developing like they should. And this one here is no exception. So that's number four, Brilliant Bergamot. Another really solid one for the summertime. And this Parfums Vintage version is a really great take on Bergamot 22. So for those of you who are looking for a better performing and a more affordable version of that fragrance, check this one out. Number three, we have Hugo Boss Reversed. This is yet another one that I've been wearing quite often in the summertime. And this is also a relatively newer fragrance. I think it was released like last year. This is very simple with its note breakdown. It only has like a handful of notes, uh, citrus being the main player in the scent with a little bit of a vetiver backbone as well. Kind of similar to the last fragrance I talked about and um, also kind of gets compared to Elysium. But this one is completely in its own ballpark. It doesn't smell like Bergamot 22 and it doesn't really smell like Elysium but it does kind of fit in that same genre. This one comes in at a really great price point as well. So if you want a very unique citrus fragrance with decent performance and you know affordable and just smells great and works great in the high heat, highly recommend you check this one out. This has become one of my favorite scents for the summertime. Coming in at number two, we have a new personal favorite for me, and this one is Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. So I haven't done a review on this one yet. I do plan on getting that out here relatively soon. So if you wanna hear more information on this one, I'll have that review out here pretty soon. Just to tell you right now, I really am a big fan of this scent. I wasn't too sure what to expect uh, looking at the note breakdown. It looked pleasant, but you know, I wasn't for sure. After I got it in the mail though, and I tried it for the first time, 
pretty much fell in love instantly and I'm really enjoying this one a lot. I've worn it a few times in the really high heat and it works great. So again, I'm really pumped to have this one in my collection. I'm gonna get that review out soon because I love this stuff and I think a lot of you guys are gonna like it too. Works really, really nice in the high heat and just in summer in general. Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. Finally, that leaves us at number one. We actually have a tie here for number one and I haven't had a tie in any of my top 10 lists. For There's some bottles that just fell. Number one, we have Dior Homme Cologne and we have Mercedes-Benz Cologne. So I guess you can see why these are a tie. Those of you who know about these fragrances will know uh, that these are very similar to each other. I just recently did a video comparing uh, Dior Homme Cologne with three other fragrances. You can check that one out. And out of all of them, this Mercedes-Benz one is the closest to Dior Homme Cologne. So I included these as a tie just because you have this one which is a little bit more expensive and you have this one which is a little bit more affordable. And really, this is gonna be up to you. Which one do I prefer? I love them both. I still do prefer the original Dior Homme Cologne. I love the quality. I just love the blend better. But honestly, it's hard to beat the Mercedes-Benz. This one gets so close that for most people, it's not gonna be a huge difference. And in my opinion, this is one of the best summer fragrances that you can buy on the market. I just love this DNA. And again, that's personal preference there. A lot of people are gonna disagree otherwise, but for me personally, this stuff just works. And especially when you're talking about the high summer heat, this stuff, really you could put as much heat on this as you want and it's not gonna flinch, it's not gonna budge at all, just gonna smell great. And this is another one, like I said earlier with a couple other fragrances, the more heat you put on this stuff, the better it tends to smell. It has this nice sweet ice lemonade kind of smell to it. I just love the scent. That comes in at number one, Dior Homme Cologne and Mercedes-Benz Cologne. So guys, that's my list. That was my top 10 fragrances best for you know the 100 plus degree heat. Let me know down below which fragrances you're gonna be wearing in the very high heat. That's gonna do it guys. So if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. That's it for me guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.